Hi hey everyone, Mike with Newfound Past with this week's haul video. Me and Gatsby today have a lot of good stuff for you. Some big finds. Been in the business for over 20 years. Started in the late 90s with eBay and Amazon. Uh, moved to the East Coast about three years ago and been doing flipping full time online ever since. And say hi. Okay, we'll get into it. I'm going to start off with hard goods today after I get some floof off of me. Um, to start in here I got this Airfix Harrow train model I uh, picked this up for just a dollar everything's 50% off and um, you know I didn't count every single piece in here but the instructions were in here and and the stickers weren't even used let me show you those check that out so for a dollar this is a no risk thing if if everything is here they sell for 30 or 40 bucks so yeah next up we got a Charlie Brown and Snoopy mug. See, blue and pink was 50% off yesterday at this thrift store, but we think we did get 10% off, so, you know, $1.80. But um, wife found this, and she said these come for about $30 or so. So a lot of times the Snoopy Charlie Brown mugs aren't worth that much, but this is a vintage, well, not vintage, it's about a eight, nine-year-old Hallmark mug. But sometimes you just never can tell. Look them up. Next up, a cat mug with cover. This is from 1989, made in Japan. Brand new in the box. Blue and pink half off, so we got that for a dollar. I don't think there was any comps for this exactly, but uh, we have sold stuff like this before, and it does fairly well. You know, cat stuff in general, I've talked about before, you can sell this stuff pretty easily. Cat stuff, sailing stuff, stuff stuff. There's the lid. So yeah, brand new in the box. And I'm confident this would sell for in that 25, 30, maybe even 35 range. Who knows? Next up, we have a couple of uh, hand painted duck signs, and they're they're not signed. They they would go into the you know folk art kind of category. But we only paid two dollars a piece for these, and uh, my wife comped these out, and they could be anywhere from. 35 a piece all the way up to 70 80 dollars a piece it, it, the the folk art stuff is kind of crazy which is what these would fit into one of them has a little chip on it but i am going to sell them as a pair so you know for for two dollars a piece it's no no to low risk on those all right next up no comps on these either we take chances don't we but i've talked about melted plastic stuff before especially the halloween and thanksgiving stuff we got these, these two sets of uh, sparkling shamrocks. No comps at all. Zero comps on these. Um, paid $4.50 each for these. But I think they'll be fine uh, come the right season. They could be $30, $30 dollars a box. So we'll see when it comes that time. St. Patrick's Day and that kind of stuff. Next up, we got some... Corel coordinates, little apple drinking glasses. These are small four, uh, seven ounce juice glasses, brand new in the box. Paid $4 for this set. Uh, no exact comps again, but uh, I've sold this Corel stuff before and this is from 1997. Can't get it anymore. And somebody may want to replace some pieces from a set or they had them as a kid and loved them, who knows. But I'm confident these will sell from that $30 range or so. Next up, we have Elvis. This is an Elvis stocking. Uh, a lot of a lot of comps on these actually. Not this exact one, but this style. These were uh, these were sold at uh, Kmart. It, it didn't have the year, but uh, we only gave three dollars and sixty cents for this. And the comps were in the thirties, thirty, thirty-five, somewhere around there. It's brand new, so you know. We'll get that thrown up soon. Christmas is coming. Next up. I've been in business for myself for a long time, so I couldn't pass this up, even though they're not used anymore. I know how much these stamps cost. <laughs> and it's just a whole bag full of random stamps that would... These things new would be 30, 25, 30, $35 a piece. There's a self-inking stamp, so... You know, I'll check them out and make sure they're all working and stuff and try to sell them. Who knows? It's only 
three dollars and sixty cents. There's a whole, there's like one, two, four, six, eight, about twelve of them in there. Next up, we have this kneaded new knees stoneware jar. This probably had a lid with it, maybe. We couldn't tell because there is none of these on eBay. This artist, Schlock, from 1985, has her stuff in the Smithsonian. When I did a Google search, when I couldn't find anything on eBay, her stuff is fairly popular, but I guess it just doesn't pop up. So we don't know what this is worth, but what we do know is that for $2.50, it's worth the risk. It's in good condition, great condition. So, and it's signed. Don't know if you can make that out, but yeah. Next up, we got the little mid-century lamp. I mean, it's not in perfect condition, but we pick these up quite often. We only pay $2.50 for this lamp. It has the old school cord on it. And uh, comps are all over the place for these, anywhere from $40 to $80. Just don't know. But it's really cool. Kind of a UFO style. I don't know exactly. Wife knows a lot about these uh, eyeball lamp. She knows a lot about these uh, the mid-century stuff. But pretty cool. For $2.50, you wouldn't do it. Okay. Next up, we got this AT&T four-line small business phone for $2.50. I opened this up. This is brand new. The box is a little bit shelf worn, a little bit janked. But the uh, comps are these about $40, maybe $50, you know, because I do free shipping. So, yeah, for $2.50. Okay, got this today. I hit Salvation Army last Wednesday, 25% off day. We went to our normal big three thrift stores on this past Sunday, which one of them was always everything's 50 percent off and the other two are blue and pink 50 percent off well today i was out going to fedex and i stopped back into our normal everything's 50 percent off store because most even mondays they do fit everything 50 percent off so i was like i'm gonna pop in i'm gonna be right there got some cool stuff got this american flag little winter hat and you can just feel this when i was i don't look at this stuff normally i'm look at big stuff because I'm busy and I was walking by this stuff and I'm like that looks cool and uh got it down and this is wool you can tell by feeling it it's wool and I'm like all right see if it has a tag in it and it does and the tag is a little bit janked but you can see it says handmade in Stowe Vermont Beconta Be Ink Moriarty hat now look that up and these hats sell for forty to sixty dollars. I had no idea. I paid a dollar fifty for it. Pretty cool. Pair of vintage Reeboks. Those I got these today as well at my uh I don't normally go on Mondays, I just did and I was like, oh those are cool in good shape. Check that out. Got these for six dollars. And these are nineteen eighty one victory Reeboks you're not gonna find comps on these but these will sell you know the conditions pretty good so it could be anywhere from 60 to 75 dollars probably but I'll do a little bit more research there's a Facebook group that specializes in these things so yeah really cool got this USS Fort McHenry little travel mug it has the lid with it Got that for a dollar fifty. It doesn't have the non-slip bottom, which we were surprised with, but uh, none exactly like this. But there's others similar that sold for twenty-five, you know, ish. So we went ahead and picked that up. Next up, we got a pair. Of, I got a pair of Echoes, and these are in great condition. I think they're my size. Hmm. Great, because if you know Echoes, you know how much these things cost new. I have no doubt that this pair would be uh, definitely over a hundred, probably between a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for these new. And these are in very good con condition. Look at that. And we paid five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. My rule with shoes is, uh, and uh, and I'm, I love what 
Andy the Parrot Head Picker does. He does a lot of shoes on Poshmark and eBay and stuff. My personal rule with shoes is if I wouldn't wear it, I don't buy it. And that goes for condition and usually style. I'm kind of picky, but definitely condition. If I won't wear it, I don't buy it. These I would wear. These I may wear. <laughs> so <laughs> I think they're my size. They have Euro sizing. I don't know my Euro size. So yeah, but awesome shoes. And guess what? The second pair of Echoes. So probably the same person in great condition. Great condition. Look at that. Just fantastic condition. These were a little bit more. These were, oh, these were $5.50. My goodness. Just fantastic. Size 47. Echoes. Oh, just fantastic. Love those shoes. Okay. Next up, we got a set of Baldwin brass rings, uh, napkin rings. Uh, brass set of four. Brand new. They're only two bucks. Uh, no, no real sold comps on these, but people have them listed for... 30 to 40 dollars. I'm gonna pay two dollars for them. So, yeah, I don't know if y'all got a good look. So, cheap, cheap. Okay, this is cool. This is something I was walking down the game aisle and I was like, I saw that and I picked it up, put it in the basket, and kept on going. The Rise and Decline of the Third Reich. This is from 1974. This is brand new in the original wrap. I uh, paid, got 10% off, so. See, $87.20 for this. I didn't comp it. I think my wife looked it up when we were driving down the road. And the, the comps are just like everything. They're all over the place. But since this is new in the wrap, I'm going to ask a premium, whatever the comps are. Take your uh, highest used comp and add probably 40 50%. So, yeah. Just pretty cool, though. Next up. We have a Sharper Image Deluxe Fog Free Shower Mirror. We got this for $9, $9, we got 10% off. Brand new. Used ones were selling for 40. I don't think there was any new ones comped out, so maybe 60, maybe $75. Yeah, Sharper Image, I know. The, the, these things are, you know, kitschy and stuff, but people had them and they've used them and broken them and they like them and they can't get them anymore. So, yeah, I look out for stuff like this all the time. Next up, this brand new in the box, False Craft. False. <laughs> That's three weeks in a row. <laughs> False Craft Penguin Skates. It's a, it's a three section server. That's what it says. Got this for $9. The only other one on eBay, I don't can't even remember if it was sold, was up for 30 or 35 and it was used. It had its box, but it wasn't brand new. This one's brand new. It has an inner box, and this is sealed in the inner box. So probably 50 bucks. Let's see. Next up. This is something, if I saw it on the shelf, I would see it and I'd keep on walking. No interest, don't know about them, anything. But my wife saw it, she was like, that looks neat. Looks vintagey and it says one shoe can change your life, Cinderella. And it was only a dollar ninety nine, dollar eighty. And uh, she looked it up and they sell thirty five or so. Can you believe it? So yeah, keep an eye out. Okay, well, let's get this big mammer jammer out of the way. Big print. <laughs> I can't tell what you can see really but as we were leaving the thrift store they have the art beyond the register so it's it's hard to look at it and and my wife looks at the art and and I think art is an underutilized section by us flippers you know partly and it's just like me I, I don't know about it but people like art and we sell it we've sold it before I've got one coming up in a sold video <laughs> But uh, this is a print by this artist from the 70s. I can't even read his name, but it's from 1974. And he's famous for the, the like nude people drawing them in cartoons and stuff. But this is not, this is just a, you know, goofy people. It's got an elephant, Mr. Boom Cannon. It's pretty neat. And it's hand signed by the artist. It says, artist proof, Wilhelm Eager, Egger. 
Egan. Egan. Yeah. But anyway, that's cool. There was no, none of these exactly, but with the artist proof, with the hand sign, and it was freaking, it was five dollars and forty cents. You can't go wrong. I did. I'm telling you, coming up in the sold video, I sold a, a print in the frame. Went to Louisiana. Person was super happy, and so are we. Okay, uh, we got this Bosch and Loam, 70 inch tall master tripod no comps for this but similar stuff in the 60 70 dollar range and i paid i got 25 percent off the 15 so whatever that is 12 and change or whatever brand new in the box opened it up brand spanking new so, do okay with that i sold a bunch of tripods the past three years so that'll do fine okay we got the badminton set I just shipped out my croquet set today that I sold, and that'll be on this little video. And we picked up this badminton set for five dollars. Don't know what it'll sell for. Wife comped it, but I know it'll do fine. I, I don't think it has the shuttlecocks in it, but all the rackets are there with the uh, poles and yeah, pretty cool. Okay, the hard good find of the day. Price Fister. This is a faucet, a big, nice, new faucet, brand new. This is a Stellan polished chrome faucet, and we paid $30 for this. The comps on these, mid twos to low threes. What, you're like $2.50, $3, no, $250 to $325 for this faucet with salts so find of the day on that one 30 bucks yeah like that a lot but that's a bunch of good hard good stuff so uh i know a lot of people you know don't like clothes but you should stay tuned because we got some primo stuff starting off with a bang got these today and i, I posted a picture on instagram follow my instagram i'll post previews and stuff when we're, when we're in the thrift stores and stuff but uh Got these jeans. You're like, what jeans? Yeah, jeans. I was going through the jeans rack, and I, I don't go through them every time, but I should. And I just happened to go through them today. I paid five dollars for these, and the tag is almost gone. You're like, what? Why would? You, what are you talking about? On your Levi's, this is Le you can tell this is Levi's tag, even though it's gone. Always check your little red tag here. And you see that? That second letter, the E, it's a capital E. That means these are old and they're good. And they are old and they are good. Uh, these are made, this little bit of tag that's left, you can see the made in the USA, and you can see the size, luckily. These are 501s, button fly. These are selvage, but they're not red line. They do make a selvage red line where the, the stitching, I don't know which side because I've never seen them, is a, a red thread stitched. And those are worth a lot of money <laughs> but um, yeah these are we're gonna do more research on these uh, we don't know exactly what they're gonna be worth because the tags gone and we got to find out exactly what era they're from it's the first time I ever found a pair of Big E's it's awesome I couldn't believe it when I got when I was going through the racks and I look at the tag and I looked again whoa <laughs> So I was pretty excited. I'm glad I went to that thrift store today because I normally do not go to the thrift store on Monday. And I got these today. Isn't that crazy? Amazing. One of my grills. It's one of the things I've always wanted to find. And I only have a couple more things left on the grill list now. I'm not going to tell you which. Okay. So moving on. We got this uh, Walt Disney World 07 little pullover sweater got this for four bucks blue and pink half off brand new with the tags 
you know this is $35, $40 all day. Got this today as well. <clears throat> this is paid $50 or $25 for this. This is Vintage North Face, made in the USA, and this was made specifically for the National Park Service. They won't allow me to sell this on eBay. And you're like, why? Because it's technically a uniform. Even though it has no patches on this, no official park ranger designation, but if you put National Park Service in your descriptors, they'll pull it. But I will sell this on Poshmark. <laughs> So I'll, I'll clean up this little collar here, put this on Poshmark for about 125, 150. I'll probably price it high because people on Poshmark are notorious for uh, uh, making really low offers. So next up, we got this this plaid, this red and uh, black check fleece lined LL Bean. Got this today as well for uh, seven dollars and fifty cents, and I've sold I sold a bunch of these, and these sell all day long for fifty bucks. You know, good condition. Uh, the older style yellow LL bean tag, traditional fit. This is just a medium, which is not ideal, but it'll still be okay. Oh, these are cool. My wife found these. They'll fit me. These are, you can tell again by feeling these, these are a wool blend. And these are red long johns. And again, they were paid $5 for these. And these are uh, L.O. Bean. They're L.O. Bean wool blend long johns. It's even got the trap door on the back. But uh, my wife looked these up and yeah, as soon as I saw them, I'm like, oh, those will be fine. And, and they will be, though, you know, 50, 60, who knows, we'll... Do a little bit more research into them. But, uh, no brainer on those. Next up we have a Puma jacket. I don't normally buy Puma, but this one's a little bit special. This is a Oracle from uh, Sailing, the America's Cup. And it has all the sponsors on it. This is from, this even has Team USA America's Cup Defender. And on this sleeve it has Tag, Tag Hewer, Hewer. Always wanted one of those watches, Tag Hewers. Well, you're going to cooperate with me here. It's hooded, you know, like an all weather. It's, it's for sailing. It's it's what, you know, some of the crew would have wore on the boat. And uh, pay 10 bucks for that. Nope, no comps, but sailing, Oracle, Tag Hewer, Team USA, America's Cup. No problem. Next up we have this Woolrich vest and this is again you can tell by just by the feel. If I'm going through racks and by fabric I can tell cashmere, I can tell wool, I can tell all that stuff. Silk and this is a Woolrich wool blend vest and it has uh, Discovery Channel Quest embroidered on it. That doesn't hurt it at all. Uh, no comps of course but uh, this is only $6.50. And I have no doubt this will sell for 35 to 45. Don't have a whole lot of clothes today, but we have some really good clothes today. Uh, this is an Ella Bean barn jacket with the corduroy collar, $6.50 vintage tag. And I can't see the size because the, you know, they put the tag right, you know, they staple the tag right over the the label but it seems like it's a probably a large yeah probably a large but a really good condition little barn coat six dollars and fifty cents nicks i've sold these before you know for that 50 65 range sorry we got a, a dog running around in circles down here trying to knock our lights over <laughs> we got this we didn't comp this at all either it was just it was so cool i was like this is a no-brainer as well we got the, this is an Orvis with the fly rods, uh, medium, like kind of a Native American pattern vest, and uh, $2.50, no, uh, blue and pink, so $4.50 on this. So you guys look that up and tell me how much I should sell it for. I don't, 
I didn't I didn't comp it. I just like that is cool. I know it'll sell. It's Orvis. It's fly rods with the fishing basket. It'll be okay. Last oh no I got this coat and I got two more coats and that's it we'll be done. I got this at Salvation Army. Salvation Army I went last Wednesday. Not only were they doing twenty five percent off, but it was a cold day around here in Northern Virginia and they were doing all coats and jackets twelve ninety nine plus twenty five percent off. So this coat was marked nineteen ninety nine, but I got it for twelve fifty plus twenty five percent off, which is the reason I got it. And this is a Colhan. It's a it's kind of it's not waxed canvas but it's that you know rain repellent material I don't know if you know the feel of that but the really nice coat extra large I get I should put this on but I don't want to I probably keep it but the really nice fabric Kohan I have no doubt this will sell for in that 40 to 50 range so. okay Anyway, I had somebody ask in the comments about Woolworth jackets and I was trying to give them some advice, you know, how to fix, you know, sweater shaver, you know, stitch up the seams if it's wool, how much it could sell for and stuff and so on. But it's funny they asked about Woolrich because when I was at our second thrift store on the day on Sunday, I found two Woolrich that are whoppers. I mean, just like, woo. So, woo. This is the first one I found, and this was, we got 10% off, so this has been $27. Woolrich, two extra large, I don't know if that's tall or not, but two XL. And this is real coyote fur, and this is down. So down, parka, well, me and my wife are debating that. What's parka, what's coat, what's jacket, but anyway. I'll use all the descriptors. That's another tip you, in your title of eBay. If you're not sure, list all the descriptors. Coat, jacket, parka, trench coat, <laughs> you know, list it all. Uh, leather pool, like I said, this is down. This is just, this is, you know, we pay $27 for this and this is a $300 coat. I'll sell this in that range, in that 300-ish range. Awesome, awesome find. So, I can't top that, but I can equal it. A second one. Two of them. Coyote fur, Woolrich, down, parka. And this one was only $18. This one's a little bit dirtier. It looks like it was worn more. So, I think that's why they marked it cheaper, but again... 300 bucks so we got two jackets that'll sell for five from 550 to 700 dollars for total two jackets so i don't know if i can beat that finale it was awesome awesome thrifting between the levi's the woolrich coats all the other good stuff man talking about some good thrifting if you guys look at my patreon i have rewards tiers and if you're the right reward tier guess what you get to go thrifting with us. <laughs> Maybe you can find some of this stuff. So check that out. All of our new subscribers, thanks for signing up. Current subscribers, you guys are awesome. Watch minutes have been great. Uh, appreciate you guys helping me promote the channel. I'm trying to be more active on Instagram, so check that out. And uh, we will see you this Friday with what sold video. Some good stuff. Later.